great clutch with you. Sorry. <laughs> we should just come on move over to the left. These roads are uh, extremely narrow. Up onto the left hand side of the road. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amin and today I am doing a mock test with Erica. Now how long have you been driving? Since I've been 15 and a half in the US. Okay and you have a driving test now in the UK? Yes in February okay. so I've been doing lessons trying to get used to driving on the opposite side of the road and the opposite side of the car for <laughs> a couple of months now. Okay, so we're going to see how you get on in this mock test because now the road's completely different um, to what you're used to yes. previously. Yes. But you have had some practice in the UK? Yes. Okay. All right, so do you want me to tell you a little bit about the test to kind of... A thousand percent, yes. Okay, so throughout this drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Okay. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. If I don't say anything, just keep going straight. But if you're okay. not sure, you can simply ask me. Okay. Um, I'm going to get you to carry out one maneuver. Okay. And possibly the emergency stop. Similar to everything, hopefully, you've been practicing with your instructor. Yep. We're going to go through a mixture of roads throughout this drive. And the drive's going to roughly last 38 to 40 minutes. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to tell me a question now at the beginning and then a show me question okay. while you're driving. <laughs> okay. okay. So before we get started, a quick tell me question. Okay. Could you tell me how would you test that your brake lights are working? Uh, I would have the car, uh, I would turn the car on, um, sorry, not on, press the ignition so that the lights turn on. Um, I'd probably have somebody go behind my car while I test pushing the brake down to see if the lights go on or okay. off and then give me the feedback. That's fine. All right. All right, ready to get started whenever you are. All right. So for anyone that's new to watching this channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and select that bell icon. All right, you ready? <sighs> yes. Okay, so yes. whenever you're ready, we're gonna make our way out. We're gonna turn left out of here, and then okay. just follow the signs to the exit, and I'll direct you as normal. Okay. Okay, good luck. As we get to the end to make this right turn, Erica does get a serious fault at this point because she tries to turn on the wrong side of the road. She needed to turn on the left of the island, but she tries to turn on the right. So it's a right turn out of here. Up onto the left hand side of the road. onto the left hand side of the road. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I'm gonna say that was <laughs> that was the lane's fault on that one. Let's oh, turn right at this roundabout. roundabout I'd like you to turn right it's the second exit Shortly I'm going to ask Erica to park up on the left hand side of the road. There is a junction on the left just before the parking place. You want to make sure you signal after the junction has passed. You can start checking your mirrors and slowing down before this point. Now if you could pull in and park up on the left anywhere safe. That's fine there, thank you. 
and drive off whenever you're ready. Now we've got quite a steep gradient ahead. You want to make sure you're fast enough before you switch gears. Erica was changing gears a bit too early, especially when going into third gear as you will lose a lot of power. And if you can take the next available road on the right, be sure to listen out for any hints and tips that the examiner may give you. In this case, I said take the next available road on the right because the first road was a no entry. At the end of this road, turn right and then turn left. So the two turns are quite close together. Said right and left. Yeah. up on the left just behind that blue car but leave enough space to move away about a car's length not too close to the wall not too close that'll be fine there thank you and drive off whenever you're ready i'm so sorry um i'm gonna wait for this car to go there As we're travelling further along this road, this road does get tighter. Just at the brow of the hill in the distance, there are parked vehicles on the left hand side of the road. Erica checked her mirrors towards the right and she moved over to the right in good time when the road ahead was clear. Now as we're continuing through that space, somebody did turn up in front of us. The vehicle that turned up in front was being very pushy and really boxed in the space that we needed to get through. When this happens to you, be sure to slow right down and take your time. Don't rush because of the other driver. Be sure to take your time as you're already committed. Brake clutch with you. Hop into first gear and really take your time with it. He's been quite pushy there. Just take your time with it. Yeah, up a little bit higher on the clutch. There we go. You were dealing with that well, but when you saw him, you kind of rushed. I got a little bit nervous because he was just... He was being... He, he, was he, was coming, was... he was coming in hot. Yeah, he was. He really was. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just... We should just come on, move over to the left. These roads are uh, extremely nice and waiting places, yeah? Okay. Okay, so yeah. we're going to make a right turn at the end of the <laughs> You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can to make a right turn out of here again. Okay? Just following the road ahead from him. Okay. A 
Approaching this next roundabout, to go straight ahead, you actually need to be in the right-hand lane. There are no clear road signs and the road marking is quite faded, so Erica doesn't realise this until it's too late. She simply turns left. Going the wrong way is not a serious fault. Always just do what's safe in that moment. That's okay. You dealt with that safely. Thank you. I think we have a roundabout up there. What we'll do is we're just gonna turn around and come back this way, okay? Okay. So let's make a U-turn. So we've now got some traffic in front of us which is leading into a hazard on the left hand side of the road. There's a bin lorry blocking our lane of traffic which means we need to move around the bin lorry onto the opposite side of the road without slowing down oncoming traffic. You want to make sure you can get around the obstruction and the oncoming traffic shouldn't have to step off the accelerator let alone have to brake for you. I did have to tell Erica to stop at this point as she was trying to follow the traffic through. The closer you get to the hazard in front before moving to the right hand side of the road, the more you swing onto the opposite side of the road. And it's also a good idea to use your indicators at this point to alert others of what you intend to do next. Can I go if it's safe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can go now. We have enough time. So we're going to be following signs towards London. Okay. Actually, you know what? We'll take the fourth exit right. Fourth exit yes, right. Yes, please. Sorry, the signs are a little bit... Messed up there. <laughs> so we're taking the full thing today, okay? Okay. Yeah. So we want to end up there. Erica does this roundabout really well, so we're currently passing the first exit and ahead of us is the second exit. On the left hand side we can see the white line is slightly faded but if we follow that white line it goes directly behind the lorry. Now this takes us into the outwards leftmost lane which is directing us towards third and fourth exit. Now the third exit is a fairly small exit so that's why we're able to take this leftmost lane to head towards the fourth exit. Just before we entered the roundabout, there was a national speed limit sign on the left hand side of the road and as we exit this roundabout there are no more speed signs which means the same speed continues. So we're currently on a dual carriageway with a national speed limit so this is a 70 miles per hour road. Erica was driving too slow at 45 miles per hour with large vehicles having to overtake us so I did have to tell her to speed up at this road as it is way too slow to be driving at that sort of speed.
first our exit. So just put your right indicator back on, right, right indicator. So this is the second exit, we're leaving at the next one. It's okay, so we're leaving now. Drive off whenever you're ready. I love these cars. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so nervous. together I'm gonna to go straight from both of them. <laughs> left in here yeah, and just go straight up along this road now Erica what I'd like you to do is to reverse back into a space of your choice pick anywhere just make sure you finish within the white lines of the parking bay okay and you said it would be down up. oh up
Thank you. Secure the car. And switch off the engine. And that's the end of your test, if you just give me a few minutes. Hold on, let me just... I'm gonna give you a few minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. How that are you feeling? That was probably the worst. <laughs> that was probably like the worst experience of my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's not your fault, right? It's just, there were a lot of curveballs, you know? The car just like came, I felt like that car in that van just flew. Like, well, he was like flying at us. And I was oh, like- Oh, he was, he okay. really was. Okay, because then I was like, oh my God, okay. So then I was just like trying to get out of the way quickly. Um, okay, so unfortunately, no, it wouldn't yeah, be a pass, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. There's a few reasons why. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that van. Because you're, you're on that topic already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you could see he was really putting that pressure on, right? Yeah. Okay. Can he fit in that space where you're coming through? No, I should have just taken, been more assertive of like, you, you know, like, If yeah. somebody does that to me and I know they can't fit, I'm going to take my time. <sighs> All right. You fell for the trap. He's I pushing did. in and you just I went, did. oh, let me just quickly whisk through. And I thought, no, don't do that. Just because he's going coming yeah, into it fast yeah. doesn't mean we should have, you know? Yeah, I know. So I should have just just slowed down. Yeah. Because he really yeah, yeah, squeezed yeah. you in and you just I know. you just kind of I was just trying tried to, to... I was trying to not be a nuisance, I guess. Yeah, yeah. but he wasn't being nice at uh, all. But I don't know. yeah. Don't carry on at the same speed. Yeah, yeah. If he had stopped a lot further back, we could have done that. Yeah, yeah. He, he went right up. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, the other one was that roundabout. <laughs> Such a okay, easy I know, I know. I just needed to be more patient. The moment I I felt myself and I was like, oh, I'm too far over the line, yeah. you know. <laughs> so then I was just like, oh, I I just need to go, or else they're gonna slam on their brakes anyways, which they ended up doing and honking. Yeah. <laughs> that so was, yeah, we. Yeah. Oh, I was just like, come on, you see them, and you went, I know. no, I'm going. I, like, I know. Oh, I no. I hesitated too. I don't know. I felt like I hesitated, and hopefully you felt that I hesitated because I was like, oh, what, what's it was the such right a call? Brief, yeah. Of but like, don't don't rush those calls when okay. you're not sure. Okay. Um, and then obviously right at the very start. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. That was so. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Is, when we when we went out of this road, there was like a grey car that had just gone past, and I thought, uh, okay, Great. here's what here's what happened is you were like, all right, take a take a right, take a right, right out, and I was like, wait, the right. So then I tried to go right instead of like in the left and then left and then right. You, that was my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry if I, I also, confused no, no, you. No, no, no. I meant from yeah. the junction. It's a it's all right. Junction was on the bend, so yeah. It's okay. That one that one will probably haunt me forever. <laughs> <laughs> That was so bad. Okay, um, you know when that van driver did what he did, after that you were a little bit shaken up for a little while. Yes. So as we're going through, the road ahead is still quite tight, and now we had parked cars in front of us, mm -hmm. and a, like a Mercedes, black Mercedes coming towards you, and you're just kind of squeezing. I know. We shouldn't have been squeezing. That's when okay. I said, no, 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 just take your time, slow okay. down. Okay. So we shouldn't be trying to go through that. Then there was that bit about the um, the bin lorry. Do you remember the bin lorry? Mm. The um, hazards. Oh yes. Vehicle in yes, the middle yes, of the yes, road. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so when we got there, there was a bit of a queue, wasn't there? Yeah. So people were moving quite slowly, and then yeah. we got right to the top of that queue. Yeah. And then I had to tell you to stop. Yeah. Why did I tell you to stop? Because I was going to try to squeeze by again. Mm. Yeah. Because when we got there, everyone else went yeah. in the gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then by the time you got there, traffic turned up. Mm -hmm. So we should now wait. Okay. Do you know why we should wait? Because we'd have to dip into their lane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because your side is obstructed. Okay. So we have to make sure we don't make them slow down. Which is what would have happened if we had gone. And then you said, oh, can I go when it's safe? Yeah, of course you can. Okay. <laughs> the big roundabout, she did them well. You know, they're really big. Fourth exit, second exit, all of the big ones you yeah, did yeah, really yeah. well. Yeah? I just got super nervous, I think. I'm gonna blame it on nerves. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't I, had I enough just practice need to on just... these smaller roads, have you? Like the really tiny roads that I not, not the tiny, tiny ones, you know? But So what yeah. would you say you've learned from today's mock test? Um driving tests in the UK are way harder than the ones <laughs> in the US. <laughs>
Yeah, See, a driving test here are definitely more of an obstacle course than what it is back there. How long was the test in the US, by the way? Honestly, so the, the structure is different. It's probably like, I'd say like 20 to 30 minutes, depending oh, on where okay. you go. You don't do maneuvers. Mm -hmm. um, I can't. In, in the US, right, it's all stoplights. There's no roundabouts either. It's not like, <laughs> and all the roads are super wide, so yeah. you'd never have like the face to face or. Yeah. So, yeah. Because around here, we, we, had, we did have some challenging roads in there. The yeah, first yeah, few yeah. roads. The first few roads. When I did that roundabout, I was like, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I was so confident going into this, but. It's okay. You've learned from this. At least yeah, you yeah. can now watch this back and go, oh, I see what I did there. And you have plenty of time, so I wouldn't stress. This is definitely something yeah, yeah. you wanna. Yeah, I mean, it was my first mock test ever in the UK, so yeah. small victory, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of today's mock test. Hopefully, you guys have learned a thing or two between the driving, like driving test conditions between the US and the UK. So that's definitely the challenge for you today. <laughs> but hopefully, let's see what we can we can do another one and say. What are we now? We're end of November. Yeah. We could do another one closer to your test and by then you should hopefully... <gasps> Fingers crossed it goes better than today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely work on these things. And yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. On. But yeah. Cool. Um, well done for today. And I'll hopefully see you in a, short, in a little while. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the test. Thank you for watching. 